<laughs> oh great! Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks a thanks a lot, Michael. That's the number of people this channel's got. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, because we don't know these. We, we can we can Anyway. So uh but we do some sense of but so easy peasy versus marathon here. We'll get the uh, scoreboard if you have to But easy peasy. Double zero. Ten, no, that's not right. Okay. So easy, or, uh, marathon taking that early stock. We're taking the stock early enough to get him a little comfortable leverage to start racking up some extra credit. Yeah, 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 um, at high percents, but in all reality, sometimes it's just that you just have the legend invincibility. It just lasts for a very short amount of time because the higher percent you are, the lower legend invincibility you have. You know, the less legend invincibility. And recognizing that he's a was going to go for that uh, uppercut and uh, hold the shield and got arc fire on shield, but he's rolling away. No one like that. Oh, and all gets the ledge trump, but maybe just a little late on that back air. Falling Arc Thunder, that was a classic setup. Falling Arc Thunder, make people think that they can come get you, come at you, throw an Arc Thunder at them and put them in an easy shield. What a time to be alive. Okay, going into game number two, Marathon is one up against his brother from Idaho, his, his spud brother. Easy peasy. Question, can anyone break a 10 into 1-5 and 5-1s? That sounds like a good trade. <laughs> oh, and tried to punch that landing, but just barely out of range. But now he's able to turn a little bit. Marathon's the one that gets to here, so he's gonna have to kind of be more careful because it's looking like he's starting to get into the dreaded up smash range. But a good Nair. Let him sort of go. Oh, and he reads. Oh man, that was that was good off-stage play. <laughs> All right. My my young my young colleague here showing me showing me some pretty dank memes. Uh, anyway, so oh, he's getting quite greedy there with that forward air. Oh, he wants it. He wants it. But why does he want it? What's it? What does he hope to accomplish? Oh, and bridges with that uh, that fireball gets in there, and I didn't see it. I, I don't think that was the untechable one. The untechable, it wasn't the untechable spin. I think that was just not techable. But it's an interesting uh, command grab there from Marathon. Maybe missing. Oh, and gets a sour spot on that back end. I don't think it would have done if he got the sweet spot. And there's not too big a difference in damage. But Mar Marathon is wise to the fact that Easy Peasy loves chasing him in the air. He's just throwing out that big old Levin sword. 
I'm trying to clear these traps, I'm trying to throw up Leaven Sword, hope that easy people forget about it. Come in and forget about it. And the for it. Oh, and gets the neutral ledge get up. We are 2 0 in Marathon's favor. <laughs> So we are going into game three of Losers Finals. This is the tournament. This is the set of the easy peas. Tournament life is on the line here, and he opts to go Peach. So he, uh, easy peas has been going mostly Bowser Jr. and um, Mario this time, but opting to go Peach instead. Let's see if it pays off for him. So Marathon, Marathon doing some shenanigans with that Lemon Sword, just playing around, play, playing uh, uh, Monkey in the middle. <laughs> there, there are items everywhere. So, so Michael he plays better the more he's warmed up. For and, sure. and, and for those who don't know, Michael is Marathon. Yeah. As as you as you go to check the, like a Robin player, he's got a lot of crazy setups and everything. And you get, as oh, he warms up, and gets more confident with the inputs. He gets a lot more. Confident. Whoa, look at that. Turn up the setup though. Oh, and good good ledge or good recovery cover. Yeah, there's not much Robin can do about it. Yeah, and it's great option coverage there by Easy Peasy, you know, trying to scare him into making a roll there and then, you know, having Peaches float, having Whoa, good enough aerial mobility. I don't know if that uh up air was actually safe on shield, but it sure looked like it. <laughs> oh, and oh, the, oh, oh no! And this is the checkmate. Not, not quite the right percent. Checkmate structure not true if you have to pull off, right? Uh, I don't know. Uh, it looked like it was pretty close to hitting, but I don't know. That would be a frame data that you can't do. Okay, so, Michael... I'm not, I'm not exactly a robber. Several situations here where Marathon... Ooh, we got oh, we got a forward air. That sucks. I, I would think that... That, uh, checkmate is probably the order of the Right so on the Smashville platform. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I think I think that that may have had a, a, a stake in uh, Easy Peasy's decision to go Peach because. Um, is, this, yeah, is this two one right now, or is he up here? Yeah, it's, it's two one. Uh, but yeah, Easy Peasy uh, checkmate hasn't been a problem for Easy Peasy, but maybe just some exceptional foresight. Three, two, one, go! Right, game number. That train makes definitely like really scary. If you play high grab, you can combat Yeah, just give him some. He has easy doing a great job just making oh, it. Oh, and gets a stage spike, but he lives, he lives. Oh, and that was a that was, that was a, a brave gutsy. command throw. That was a brave. That was a gutsy, tomahawk, tomahawk. Oh, but it looks like marathon yeah, getting a little bit about easy peasy oh, himself getting a little bit. What's gonna tries to spike him with the Elwin. Oh, and gets the air. Oh the man, what a, with a miss on the platform. Uh, dude, Oh, and tries uh, to dude. tries to get that roll read, that roll, uh, that ledge roll, but uh, not quite getting it. Yeah, just chased it just a little bit off. Like, oh, tries to go for that. Had that. <laughs> That's right. It does have a Z axis, doesn't it? Yeah, that's right, when he does it up oh, there. Wow, well, that back attack, I don't think that was his I didn't see it wasn't easy peasy. Yeah, he was in like this weird situation with uh, fire. Oh, oh the sniper! Yeah. The sniper! He hit me with a couple of earlier. This man's been playing Fortnite, surely! Dude, Michael's epic. He truly is, he's a... 
man, those snipes, it's just, it, it boggles the mind. But we got a dangerous situation for both because Robin's at a first- Oh, look at that! Oh. Look at that Thoron. That was fantastic. Oh, a Marathon's getting very greedy. Very greedy. Hey. Very greedy. Very greedy. Man, smog air. level of greed. He's, he's hoarding that gold. The dwarves have to go back into the mountain to go collect all that gold back because, I mean, this man is hoarding. He, he wants... You know, I, I feel like that sometimes too. Sometimes I just want to hit things. Um, you know, it's just like sometimes I'll just I'll walk up to a man in public and I'll just hit him. I don't know why. But oh, good, good escape, good escape. Oh, not quite getting that that peach there, that peach there, quite good, but. You know, you, He's playing around these well. Yeah, and you know how there's like arbitrary code execution in games? It's just like where, where you just kind of like you, just use use your input and, and just like secondary avenues to achieve certain ends. I'm I'm going to do like arbitrary uh, coaching execution. Good tech for music easy. Where I'm I'm just gonna point out things the other person or like point out I'm gonna oh, coach both of them through my commentary and disguise it as such. Oh, so you're, you're gonna be like tolerated to the commentator's <laughs> Oh, and recognizing that Easy Peasy was looking for that ledge stand, or maybe Easy Peasy just misspaced a little because I think that was the purpose of that float. Oh, great house for you. And it's uh, always demoralizing in that person. Like, I, I actually, I, I have no idea. I, I mean, against normal characters it seems like it, but against Peach I don't know, because like yeah, you said, she's floating. She's really floating. That's, that's always been, um, really Oh, and the, the last hit there, last hit. Okay, so, how are we looking here? Oh. Oh, oh no! Yeah, oh, that was that. I I I I appreciate I appreciate what Marathon did, but it was just barely barely off on the station. That looked like it could have been actually. Smart, uh, smart air dodge there from Easy Peasy, recognizing he couldn't uh, do much about that arc line. Oh, but Thoron, is yeah, it gonna right kill? He's not gonna kill. He gets you hundred forty percent. Interesting <laughs> level of that. I think it was like that. That was. This man is what oh, a amazing this tech. He would have died if he didn't tech that. Well, he would have died. Oh, and oh, and he's oh man, the, that was an impressively unique string of options. And the forward air hits on her ledge. <coughs> oh, and yeah, Robin will take those trades any day with that eleven sword. That's big damage, big knockback. Oh, he's taking trades off uh, it's, uh, whenever he throw uh, like uh, forward air. Oh, and, and that was a good ledge drop. Robin, Robin has such cool combos. He's just so expected. He's just never expected to forward. And so... Oh! Oh, and didn't quite capitalize on it. Oh, and look, so many just... You, you think he's gonna pick a, you know, like the safe option, but he just comes in. He's like, he knows, he knows, he wants it, so he just hits him. Yeah, I oh, trying to. Oh, yep. Oh. He catches that impatience. Yeah. He didn't cover. He wasn't confident. He covered the option. Where he oh man, good perfect shield. Oh, and rolls behind. Oh. 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 Man, that was that was a tough. That was good. Those are some good reactions. Those are good. At least I think that was like a, a pure mix of reactions and reads. That that was. I think he, he had the read, missed it slightly, and reacted to it. That was a great play right there. Marathon was. Survival.